Yo, Shin. Yo, Shin. I ain't gonna lie, Shin. I'm so glad it's Saturday. We don't got school, Sean. I f***ing hate school. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of going to school too, bro. Every time we go in there, bro, Mr. Todd be in there smelly, bro. He always in there looking at the girls and stuff with his weird perverted ass. My f smell like French onion soup. Yo, facts, Sean. He be in that bitch. I be like, Campbell's mm -mm -mm -mm, bad. That sh stinks, Sean. I'm just saying. Yo, Sean, what the f***? Yo, who banging on your door, Sean? This is the police. Open up. Bro, police? Yo, Tyrone, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm about to run out the back, son. Yo, 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 Shin. Don't run from the cops, son. You know they gonna shoot your ass, son. Just, just answer the door. <sighs> All right, bro. Stop what you're doing. Put your hands up. Man, if you don't get your fake running cop looking at- I am the copyright police. Yo, Shin, I'm gonna be honest with you, son. The copyright police, son, that's that bullshit, son. They coming in here f***ing up the vi- Yo, who is this? This your sidekick, son? Stop. I'm the age restriction police. Yo, age restriction and copyright, son? Yo, Shin, I'm tired of this sh son. We're never gonna make it out the trenches, son. Every time that we make a video and it pops off, we either get age restricted or copyright struck, son. That sh is out of f***ing pocket, son. Bro, I'm so tired of this sh son. You can't even make an honest living. How you gonna pay bills, son? You got a cute puppy down, son. And you got your little brother, son. How you gonna take care of y'all, son? You know what, Tyrone? I think it's time. Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I never thought that I'd have to do this, but all right, time to get serious for a minute. Uh, sorry for putting this in the middle of the video. There will be more video after this, so don't click off. Uh, if you are a true supporter of the channel and you honestly care for the channel, please take the time to just, you know, hear me out and listen. I didn't wanna have to make a Patreon, but uh, it's been really rough for me financially. Uh, recently being transparent with you youtube has been cracking down on copyrights on my main channel sensei with all the anime content it's tough um with the stick figure content i've been getting hit with a lot of age restrictions and you don't get monetized for that so um it sucks and i have not been making as much money as i normally would have been so it's been hard to keep hiring editors and to keep putting out the content like i want to so i created a patreon and you know i have a bunch of different tiers at different income levels um for people that maybe want to support but can't support as much as some others that are more well off any dollar helps any dollar helps and i'm going to be giving a percentage of the patreon money um to my editor fire dog who works super super hard on the stick figure channels constantly you know working on that so that'll be a big help for him as well and it's honestly so i can fund life and be able to hire the editors like if i can make enough money through patreon to just be able to hire editors to give content to you guys that would be awesome that would mean the world to me and mainly it's to give you guys uncensored videos which is something i know that you've been asking for for a long time i hate that it's come to this but here we are so there's a patreon link that'll be in the description and pinned comment i'll make a community post as well you know if you can't support honestly you just being here watching the video watching it all the way through leaving likes leaving comments like that is more than enough and it means the world to me i just really want to be able to keep giving you guys content so yeah patreon it is I feel like every youtuber goes and gets to this point at some point <laughs> I love you guys so much, man, uh, and you mean the world to me, and I just appreciate all the support. All right, enough with the sappy stuff. Back to the video. Warning, this video contains what may be very triggering things, including a grown-ass man having relations with a minor, and also a grown-ass woman having relations with a minor. If any of this is triggering for you, do not leave the video. Just mute it and let it play all the way through. Is that, Fire Dog, is that good enough? It, it, is it? It, it isn't? What, what else am I supposed to say? Uh, oh, we have to put the, the, we have to put the trigger warning up. We have to put the viewer discretion is advised thing up. Uh, uh, okay. Hi guys, welcome to another Sinfinite. 
slash animation video. All right, my bad. That was corny. All right, today we're going to talk about something crazy. I'm not going to hold you, bro. <sighs> so the other day I was chilling, vibing, you know, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all, shooting some b-ball outside of school on some fresh print shit, right? So then I get a notification <laughs> to my phone. I check it. I'm like, yo, what's good? Who is this? Huh, one of my homies from high school that I went to high school with. One of my homies from high school that I went to high school. Oh, that was crazy. All right, anyways. So I'm like, yo, what they talking about? I go in there. They show me this link. I click the link. I'm like, let's go. Let's see what's up with the link. It's a motherfucking news article. Boom. Big, bold print. Former, I was about to tell y'all my school I went to, teacher convicted of previous misconduct with a minor. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, saying, what the fuck does that mean? Well, that means that in the past, this teacher, uh, we're going to call her Tammy, was involved with a student and no one found out until recently and she finally got convicted of it. That's insane. So I find out that this teacher is basically, no, not even basically, this teacher is definitely on some, uh, you know, sexual misconduct with a minor, some pedophilia, you know what I mean? Uh, actually, I, I don't really know, cause like, I think pedophilia is like prepubescent kids. I don't know what the term is for like a teenage kid in a, in a thing. So we're just gonna call her a pedo anyway. Don't really care, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't see pedos as real people. So also fire though, we're probably gonna have to censor pedo. All right, anyways, let's continue. So I'm like, oh shit. And then I started thinking about it and I remember that I was actually in a class with this teacher and I remember the student. And I'm like, oh my God, this entire time she was doing fucked up stuff with him. And it fucking all make sense. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, everything, why didn't I put an S on when I said make? I said it all make sense. What the fuck? I need to read. I feel like Floyd Mayweather. But anyways, it all makes sense. And and today I'm here to recollect and, and to talk about this and break this down for you guys because I'm going to be honest, it's fucking insane. So anyways, here we are, right? I'm in class Um, and uh, I'm going to be honest, bro. It was theater. Okay. Now, I told you all the story about me going to theater class and me thinking that it was for either girls or homosexuals. And Back then, your boy Sin, I'll be honest, was very toxic masculine. I'm going to be honest. I, I was not one of those guys that was being progressive. Nowadays, I don't give a fuck if you're yellow, purple, green. You like niggas, aliens, dick in your butt, pussy in your face. I don't care what you like, bro. Don't fucking matter to me, man. We're all people and I love y'all, bro. It ain't my genitals I'm doing it with. So who gives a fuck? And that's just the mindset that I have. It doesn't really matter. So, you know... You know, I had to warm up the theater class, bro. But eventually I realized that theater is actually really fun. So there was this guy in there. We're going to call him Tony. OK, we got Tammy, the teacher and Tony, the student. All right. Now, I knew Tammy was a little bit weird because uh, she was always, you know, she was being very friendly, very, very friendly with uh, with students. And and by friendly, I mean, she wasn't like uh, openly doing the sexual misconduct with them in front of everybody. However, she was being very openly flirtatious in a way. And uh, so like, for an example, like she would like take us home from theater practice or the, the play practice. Right. And shit like this would happen. Right. We'd be in the car. Maybe me, my buddy, you know, uh, Alex and, 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 and fucking Tony. Right. So we're all in there. We're chilling, going home on the way. We might stop by McDonald's or something, get a bite to eat or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. So we pull up the McDonald's and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, guys. Uh, you guys want to go to McDonald's? Shit, you know, I like McDonald's. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, Tony, stop. And then she would like hit him on the shoulder and do like a little caress thing. Mm, I don't really know how I feel about that. You're like 30. I, I don't know. We're like 14, 15 years old right now. Why are you... Why are you doing that? That, that? that looks like some shit that a, like a fucking girl that likes you would do. So I'm sitting in the back, but I wasn't really paying too much mind to it. You know, <laughs> I'm a fat ass nigga. So, you know, I'm like, man, you already know I want McDonald's shit. You feel me, Alex? Man, hell yeah, Sandy. You know I want McDonald's, cuz. About to give me a McFlurry? Shit. You know I'm going crazy right now. I'm about to get nuts on my shit. Hey, yo, you get nuts on your ice cream? No diddy, bro. Paul. Now, Sin, what did I tell you about St. Paul's, okay? We're open to homosexuals. <sighs> Uh, all right, Miss Tammy, you whatever, bro. Yo, Tony, what you getting? Shit, man, you know me, man. I'm getting a quarter pounder, man. You know, I'm a big dude. You know, I got to get my gains in. Tony, you're literally like a buck 30. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I think Tony looks great. What the fuck? Yo, yo Alex, yo, you, you hear her, bro? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. So, like, what the fuck going on with her, son? Like, she, she flirting with that nigga? Bro, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. 
So shit like that would happen, bro. We'd be in the car, a little weird shit would happen. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, uh, no, I don't really know. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, come to find out, bro, Shorty this entire time had been diddling him, bro. This whole time we had no idea. You never know what's going on behind closed doors, but apparently he started going to therapy as he got older. He started talking about these repressed memories of him getting, you know, used and abused by Miss Tammy. <sighs> and it's kind of fucked up, bro. I'm going to keep it a band-aid with you, bro. Because, like, again, you never really know what's going on. Whole time, this dude is getting diddy. Now, I'm not going to hold you, bro. While this man was getting Epstein, you know what I'm saying? We all just kind of ignored it. Well, not ignored it because we didn't know what was happening, but we just didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to see that shit, bro. I'm going to keep it a band. Like, we don't really know what's going on with that shit. And we kids at the end of the day. So to us, it's just like, shit, fuck it. You know what I mean? We we basically looking at the situation like, you know, if a teacher was trying to fuck on us, we would let it happen. You feel me? I ain't going to lie. Like, we young and stupid. I know a lot of y'all are like, man, I wish that was happening to me. But y'all would be victims, man. Don't be fucking victims, bro. That shit is not cool. So the whole time, you know what I'm saying? He became a victim and all that. He got all that fucked up shit going on. We just didn't know. The whole time that's going on, it's another situation happening in the same school with a fucking coach and one of the cheerleaders, bro. <laughs> Insane. So the whole time, bro, it's this motherfucking, we gonna just call him the diddler, bro. This goddamn coach. He in there coaching, you know, the boys basketball team. He's coaching the uh, JV team. I think our varsity coach, nah, it wasn't him. It was definitely the JV nigga because it was like a younger dude. He was like 25 or something. The cheerleader is like 16. I'm like, hold on, bro. That's a nine-year gap, yo. That's 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 not okay, my nigga. That, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if she was, you know what I'm saying, 25 and he was goddamn 34, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be mad at it. But 16 and 25? Oh, hell no. Nah. The whole time. She in there cheerleading, bro. And, you know, I guess he was in there watching her on some weird shit. Again, you never know what's happening behind closed doors. But that JV dude was always weird, bro. He one of those weird ass niggas. Like, you know, I would be in gym or whatever. And like we had it in our school that our like coaches would be like our gym instructors basically, too. They had to do both things. Like that's how they got paid as teachers. They had to like teach and coach type shit. So he was in there, but he was always weird. Like when the girls would like be doing stretches and stuff, you could see him like over there kind of like being on some perverted shit. Like he one of those weird ass niggas that you, you know, he's like imagining what's going on. Like they be over there cheering shit like this is going on. <laughs> yo, uh, hey, Mr. Ty, yo, yo, you good? Uh, uh yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Sin. Uh, why, why you ask? I don't know, bro. You kind of over there licking your lips and shit, bro. You straight? Oh, yeah, yeah, my uh, my lips are chapped. Um, you sure your lips is chapped, bro? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's what's happening. You know, my my lips are just chapped right now, so I'm I'm just licking them. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It, it looked like you over there looking at them little girls, man. man. What? How dare you? I'm not looking at any girls. Oh, so so what you looking at, boys? Uh, uh, hey, man, 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 get get back to fucking work, man. God. Bro said get back to work. We're playing ultimate frisbee right now. What the fuck is he talking about? Hey, yo, Mr. Jameson. Y yeah, what's good, son? Hey, uh, watch Mr. Ty, man. That motherfucker's a freaky ass nigga. Whole time Mr. Ty was a freaky ass nigga, bro. He was looking at them little girls, talking to them, questioning them. You know what I'm saying? Being a freaky ass weird dude, man. Y'all got to watch out, bro. Kids at home, don't talk to strangers. You know what I'm saying? And don't let these goddamn teachers diddle y'all, man. Tell somebody. They start asking y'all like they... Trying to fuck on y'all or something, man. Go tell someone. That shit is not okay, man. Weird ass niggas. And if it's any grown ass men or women watching right now that touch kids, hope you die, bitch ass nigga. Fuck is you talking about?